Smell. Smell. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Felicia if you're new here. So today I'm gonna be cooking up a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna be prepping a few freezer meals. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do a couple of baking. A couple of baking. We're gonna do some baking. I'm gonna share what we got from the little dollar store that we live close by. Oh yeah. Are you excited to cook too? No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, go get it. So most of these meals are going to be low carb. <laughs> with the side of crying. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And uh, subscribe. Say subscribe. I'm going to show you what I got from the little dollar store. Okay, we are in a construction zone, so don't mind the background. We're doing painting and little upgrades. But we found these little um, craft carts. This was 50 cents. This is gonna be cute for the playroom and for Fallon's um, homeschooling. I'm gonna start homeschooling her. We got this little milk jug. A hello fall on top. Not necessary, I know. Got some half and half just for my coffee. Some cranberry juice. Fallon's been um, complaining about, you know, never mind. Let's not talk about that. We got some evaporated milk. I needed another muffin pan because I'm gonna do some pumpkin muffins today and um, egg bites. So I wanted to double batch cook that. We needed liners, of course. Easy cleanup. Fallon requested balloons, so she has them all over the house already. We got a little sifter. I've never actually owned one of these, so that's great. Potato masher and a little spatula. I like the wood vibes. You know what I mean? Got one of these little brushes that I also feel like I've never owned. Tiny tongs, because who doesn't need tiny tongs? We got a few extra forks and spoons because I have no idea what happened to all of our forks and spoons. They keep disappearing. And then we got some yeast. And, um, and some skewers that I don't know what I'm doing with yet, but we got them just in case. Here, have a spoon. Have a spoon. Go play. Go play. Go, go, go. And then the last thing we got was um, a little plant for the bedside table of my room. It's definitely fake because I'm being killing all my plants. Yeah, that's our little hole. Ouch. <laughs> that's our little hole. Um, uh, well, let's, I'm gonna put all the, I'm gonna put all this away and then let's get cooking. Okay, here is our cute little end table going along with the accent wall and we put a mirror on top of it and we got a new headboard we definitely need a new comforter but this one's super comfy and old and we love it and then here is my little plant just makes it doesn't it yes I can't see you either are you stuck down there where are you <laughs> we are going to gut these carpets and get new ones, but eventually, not yet. What are you doing down there? <laughs> you silly girl. She loves to hide under the bed. Yeah. Need a little pig plant for the side of the bed, you know? My bed was made nicely, but the kids, you know, doing their thing. No! He's already attacking. See, if I got a real one, it would be dirt everywhere. Good call, Mom. Good call, yeah? I'm gonna bake.
So, it's about 12.20. Um, just starting my cooking. Oh, sorry for the lighting. It's such a dreary day outside. It's not bright at all. Maybe this light. A little better? Not really. <laughs> Anyways, I'm craving a... Uh, so, I've been loving the brown sugar shaken espresso from um, Starbucks. But obviously I can't go buy it every day because we own a budget. <laughs> so I'm craving one and I'm going to make a little um, a different version. I don't have oat milk. I do have almond milk. And I got coconut sugar instead of um, brown sugar. I got this um, set on uh, Facebook buying set for 40 bucks. Love it. In five different jars. Oh, and it fit perfect. This is this brand right here. I don't want to butcher it. Organic coconut sugar, unrefined, and it is one teaspoon for four sugars. I think that's better than regular sugar. I'm not sure. Hopefully. But this is just like for baking and whenever I feel like it. I think you love it. And this one also says sugar, but it actually has um, my, oops, my collagen inside. So I just turn it around. So I'm going to make me a little iced coffee. My niece gave me this because she works at Starbucks. I'm excited for it. With the sugar inside. Got some half and half. Okay, I can open it. Just for a bit of cream. My almond milk. Let's just add all of it, because why not? We do that scoop, the scoop of collagen. That one's the Thrive, Mar Thrive Market brand. Ice inside. Breakfast wine. Last part. Oh, it didn't fit. <laughs> I'm gonna top it with some cinnamon. Depending on what I get done today, I'm gonna try and make sausage egg bites pumpkin muffins, um, some keto bagels. That's what I'm starting out with. We're gonna do cilantro lime chicken, um, enchiladas, pigs in a blanket, a low carb version, and pork chops. I'm not sure what kind of pork chops I wanna do yet. So that's a maybe. And then for tonight, we're having sausage soup for dinner and also jalapeno poppers. See, that's probably too many things. And I also want to prep some sweet potatoes for the week. So, I'm not sure how that all is going to go. <laughs> so stick around for all that. Hit the like button for the YouTube. I'll go. Here are my ingredients. I'm so glad I got these big bowls because I really need them. I'm actually going to put the mozzarella in this one so I can put it in the microwave and melt it. Okay, too. What's your name? Um, Bunny. Nothing. How old are you? Um, two. You're not two. How many is that? Um, three. Three. We're going to start off with keto bagels. Yeah. So, I'm actually going to measure because 
I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> oh wait, we don't even have a teaspoon thingy, do we? Um, yes. Hey! Oh, just kidding. Found it. Hey, bunny. Found it. Our little measure. Okay, I'm gonna give this to you. Put it right here. Quietly. Maybe sleeping. Okay. Pour it in like this. There you go. One teaspoon of sweetener. Okay. <laughs> You're silly. Show everybody. 
everybody. You're mixing, mixing, mixing. Good job. Okay, we'll put the eggs on the side. Came out beautiful. Cover that puppy up, almost. Ah! Is that a baby? You doing okay? on top of cheese on top of cheese <laughs> you want some fish she said yeah okay do you want some bread do you want it on the bread and to bite it like mom no okay you sure are you going to do this doing the egg bites. I got my sausage, I'm gonna cook this up and then I'm gonna put some eggs, you know, the huge. Um, I guess we're keeping it simple because dad don't want bell peppers inside. What else can I put in there? <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. It's a balloon, dad. <laughs> How did you know exactly what I was thinking? It's a balloon. We're good. What the heck kind of balloon is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. You're what is sick. That? You're the one Where that was like, come from? what is that? From the dollar store, daddy. No, oh, I was at the dollar store. <laughs> we ended up putting a rat down there, a fake rat, into the laundry room. <laughs> And I wonder if they'll see it, because he's not very good at details. Hey, no. Ooh, these came out so cute. Look at them. Oh, can you see that? Oops, oh, sorry. This is how they came out. Gluten sausage, eggs, bacon, and spinach. Some 
salt in there. Yes. Okay, wish me luck on getting these into the... One in with the sausage. Put these away. These are just the keto sausages and bagels. playing in the yard, honey. She went where I couldn't see her. It freaked me out and I was like, oh my god, are you missing? Oh my goodness, look at how those turned out. gluten-free flour. It says there's 34 grams of carbs in a third cup. Why is everything so carby? 
I don't understand. But hubby doesn't want almond flour in it. He said, please don't ruin it with almond flour. He hates almond flour for some reason. Go push it right now. So this one was from Costco. It's a new thing, I guess. My partner randomly wanted to brush her teeth right now, so I'm gonna make the muffins, pumpkin muffins. I'm gonna use the brown sugar. The coconut sugar with some stevia. of stevia and we have about three fourths coconut sugar two eggs and vanilla oh damn all right all the ingredients down below as usual Forgot the baking powder. Put some avocado oil on here because why not? I haven't rung up any. All of their stuff. The first batch is done, and on to the next one. Okay, I'm making a little glaze. I'm just mixing some <clears throat> brown sugar, butter, cream cheese, and a little arrowroot powder on there to thicken it since I don't have powdered sugar. Oops, I'm getting it everywhere. behind a pole, I can't see you. <laughs> done as I wanted to so that'll be in the next video which will be tomorrow <laughs> so what I did get done is sausage egg bites they're more like muffins because they're so huge you know uh, we did keto bagels I like that recipe by the way I will link it below my husband approved that he don't like almond flour we did the keto pigs in a blanket I have my list here Ouch. we did enchiladas <clears throat> Pumpkin, um, pumpkin muffin. So I wanted to do cilantro lime chicken, jalapeno poppers, um, the Mexican street corn, and taco meat with the cabbage slaw, which I did not get done. So I will do it tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I will. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching today. Have a great week. Stay. Mm. It's the first of October. I don't want to put the date because it's going to be like three weeks before I post this damn thing. It's horrible lighting always. Why is it such bad lighting in here? Oh no, my camera's dying. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you next Peace out. Subscribe! <laughs> You're silly.